New at 11, a North Carolina parent reporting a complaint to the Department of Health and Human Services against a Charlotte daycare. Now, you may remember last month, a local daycare was facing possible charges after a mom picked up her son and noticed bruises on his body. This time, a mom's reaching out to other parents after checking in on her own child during a live stream of her classroom. We did call the police and we are planning on pressing charges. We have a case number. They said that they are assigning a detective. We called CPS. We filed a report and we have also contacted a lawyer. April Walker's call to action follows another parent's video posted to TikTok last week, a video which we're purposely blurring out. The first thing that happened was the ruler thing. And I was like, oh, I can't really tell if she hit that kid. It looked like it. Alyssa Stillwell's daughter was enrolled at Tudor Times Steel Creek Branch last week. The mom says she was disturbed by what she watched during a live stream. I witnessed her picking up a kid straight directly in the air and pushing him down on the ground. I, really, I was terrified when I saw that. I thought she was going to slam him hard. She says her video was taken down by TikTok for community guidelines because it depicted physical harm to children. She appealed and went back up. It has since been taken back down but not before going viral. Walker says she saw the video later that day. She's seen hitting my daughter in the leg with a yardstick. Instead of calling and saying this has been brought to our attention, we are so sorry, we're doing everything we can to take care of it. They instead decided to try and cover it up and cover up for her and not report it, which is what they were supposed to do. In a statement to WCNC, Tudor Times says in part, this employee is on leave as we're partnering with state licensing and conducting a thorough review of this matter. We will take all appropriate steps based on the findings and will continue to work to address any concerns. Nothing is more important to us than our children's well-being. I feel horrible because it feels like I missed it because she was telling me she was scared and I listened to the school because I thought I could trust them and I figured, you know, she's three. Well, both, both parents rather tell us that they're pulling their children out of the daycare. Still well adding, she also reported it to the Department of Health and Human Services.